All right, so I have empties. I'm gonna get started ASAP. Some of these things are spoilers for my project pan. This is the second time I filmed it because my camera just decided to stop recording when I had three products left. So awesome. So in my hair is the L'Oreal Paris Healthy Look Creme Gloss. No ammonia is what I use. Um, and this is a medium red brown. Got this from Big Lots. I really like it. It actually is that color like I match with the box. And um, it was effortless and my hair did not feel dry after using it or anything. So that's that. Finish the Chic Extreme 3 Disposable Razors. They look like this. And believe it or not, these I really enjoy more than the Venus Divine, which is my holy grail now. And yeah, amazing. Finish Bath and Body Works Bourbon and Strawberry Vanilla. Um, the scent was okay. Uh, definitely wouldn't repurchase it, but I do like those body washes. I finished the Dollar Tree Gentle Skin Cleanser, the dupe for Cetaphil. I talked about this before. I love this stuff. And if you see it, it's definitely worth just going there to get it, especially if you have sensitive skin. And it lasts a long time. The Victoria's Secret Moonlight Dream. This is in my Finish 5 by Fall Around 2 update. Spoiler, I finished it and I've had it since two Christmases ago, the day after Christmas sale. Got it for like $3.50, 75% off. And um, I'm really gone. glad that it's gone because I probably wouldn't have finished it up if I didn't put it in a project. The Yankee Candle Cinnamon Stick. Amazing. I am doing product Project Wax. I've haven't documented it really I've just been challenging myself all year so that's why I do show you candles uh, finished skin to mint skin therapy lotionized vitamin E love this stuff I am a Gillette shave cream lover but this stuff is amazing it really did make you feel like you had lotion on your legs after you got out of the shower I didn't even feel like I had to put body butter lotion anything on another spoiler the Garnier cleansing oil um, I have a love-hate relationship with this. I really loved it. It opened my eyes to cleansing oils. I love the smell of it. I love the way it makes my face feel. But I'm starting to think that might be the issue that I'm having with the outer corners of my eyes and the lash line. I think that that might be the product that actually has been doing it to me and not the Olay Regenerous Cream or the charcoal face wash that I was using for Dollar Tree. So I will find out probably in the next week now that I won't be using that product. And uh, if I remember, I will try to update you guys on that. Finish the Benefit. It's Potent Eye Cream. This is the second one I've used, like this deluxe sample size. I like it. Um, I don't think it's anything to write home about, but it works. So um, why not? Then, of course, my toothbrush. I show this in order just to remind you to change your toothbrush because that's something that sometimes I forget. The Sea Booth Mimosa Honeysuckle Creamy Body Scrub. I only had this for a couple weeks. Um, wasn't a huge fan of it. The smell was beautiful, but it just didn't scrub my um, body the way that I like the Tree Hut to do. So I think I'm just going to stick to the Tree Hut and try no new body scrubs anymore. Two items I'm not really going to get into. Well, the benefit was in my, um, the Hula Bronzer was in my project, but it's changed consistency. It's putting bumps on my face, and I have another one that's newer. I've had this for years, so this bad boy is going in the garbage. And the Cafe on D liner, I'm not using anymore, and I will talk about it more in my product fails. The next update, I'm saving some, as well as this Argan Magic Nourishing Hair Cream. I will talk about that in that video probably in the next month. Um, I'm going to start collecting items. Finish the All May Acne Gel. I can't get any more out. It did a good job of just drying out pimples around that time of the month for me and helped me out. The Deborah Lipman Stepping Out Nourishing Foot Cream. This stuff was golden. Loved it. Uh, Scent Portable by Bath & Body Works. It actually still has a little bit, but I'm going to put it in my desk drawer. And I finished the Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion and Overnight Repair. I actually really like this. I just don't like the smell of it. I love Jergens. I use the Jergens Moisturizer every single day. Um, I just think it just does amazing things for your skin. And it's, to me, it's better than Nivea, and it's better than a lot of things that I've tried. So... The nourishing, or the Hydro Boost Gel Cream from Neutrogena. Once again, I wasn't really a big fan of this stuff. I also have, where is it? The Hydra B5 Gel from Cosmetic Skin Solution. These are essentially almost the same product. They don't dry on my face. My face doesn't absorb it. It just sits there. I don't like that. Um, so I don't know if I'm a gel cream girl. Maybe my skin particularly doesn't 
do well with it. The Bare Minerals Purely Nourishing Moisturizer. This was very watery to me and smelled strange. Did not like it. And the Purifying Facial Cleanser was just okay, but it wasn't anything that I would run out and get. The Biore Face and Nose Strips, I um, think that the ones from Big Lots are just as good. Those I got in a swap, so I didn't pay for them. The Caudalie Vinosaurus, which is a um, creme uh, moisturizer or moisturizing sorbet. Stuff was okay. Um, it was okay. This was a freebie that I got. It was the Act Advanced Guard Clap Guard mouthwash and clean mint. Love this stuff. I also got the CeraVe moisturizing cream I used on my feet. My dad has very dry skin on his shins because of, um, he gets water retention and it pretty much like dries his whole skin out because his legs swell. And the doctor suggested the CeraVe and it's worked well for him for years. So I definitely suggest that if you get very dry skin as well. These are my favorite makeup wipes of all time. And they're the new pore compared to prawns compared to Pons, I don't know if I said Pons, uh, makeup removing towelettes, 25 towelettes, and I paid $1.99. You get these at Harman Beauty. I think a few people have showed them at the 99 cent only store. I don't have that near me, uh, but they're amazing. And then the Clinique Rinse Off Cleansing uh, Foaming Cleanser. First of all, I don't think this foams. Second of all, it dries my skin out. I've used it a couple times. I will not be using that anymore. Holy Girl, Mark Anthony Oil in Morocco, Argan Oil, Sulfate-Free Volume, Shine Hairspray, Extra Hold, infused with keratin. Woo! Can you tell I used to do broadcast journalism? Uh, this stuff is awesome. I do love the tray, too. That's, you know, what I'm using in my hair for this waves that I have going on for my curling wand. But um, this stuff's awesome, and I may actually purchase a full size. And the last two products are the Art of Shaving, Shaving Cream, and Pre-Shave Oil. I know these are typically for men. Um, I was given this in a swap, and I tried it. I was in the bath, and I used this and shaved. And I'm telling you, my legs feel like butter. Like, it's the closest shave. Like, usually when I shave, it's... You could still kind of feel prickles a little bit. This is like nothing. The oil must kind of soften the hair enough that, and then I'm sure the bath really helped because I was soaking in warm water. Um, golden. I think I might invest in products like this, especially maybe for next summer. So those are all my empties. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well and emptying your products and I'll talk to you soon.